In this short video, we will cover the basics of working with the R Statistical Computation Package using the LavaStorm Analytics Library's R node. I will demonstrate how to execute R script using node input data to produce output data sets reflective of the R processing. This video assumes a working knowledge of R and of the LavaStorm desktop software. A pre-configured software installation of the R node and the LavaStorm desktop is required to perform the activities covered by this video. Complete instructions for installing and configuring these software packages are provided by the relevant release notes documents. Before we begin, I want to ensure that the R server and the R serve libraries are up and running. In the R GUI application, I load the R serve library by typing library R serve. And then execute the R serve program itself by typing R serve. We now have a running R server to which the LavaStorm software can connect. In order to use the R node within a graph, I must first add the R node library pack to the list of base libraries used by the graph. To do this, I use the graph menu and select the Edit Base Libraries option, which will produce the base libraries dialog. In this dialog, I click the New button, and in the resulting text box, I type the letter R, which is the name of this library. After the dialog is closed, the R node will then appear within the Interfaces and Adapters category within the Node palette. To add the R node to the graph, I simply drag and drop the node onto the canvas as I would any other node. For this example, I will connect the R node to the data source already present in the graph. Before editing the R node's properties, I will briefly explain what I want to do in R. For this example, we will be using a data sample which contains spending history for a set of customers using a given service. For each customer record, we have the current year spending amount, the previous year spending amount, and have also included some demographic data which indicate the annual income for each customer household. We want to use R to determine if there is any correlation between customer spending activity and spending history, and then we want to determine if there is any correlation between spending activity and annual household income. We will now describe how to use the R node to perform this correlation calculation. First, we double-click the R node to launch the node editor window, which will allow us to edit its parameters. In our example, we are using an R server which is configured to use default host and port information and which has no security set, so we will not have to use the bottom four parameters to configure any values. The R script parameter is where we will perform our work. Users type their R script in this parameter, and upon node execution, it is processed by the R server. The parameter is aware of the node's input and output data pins, allowing users to reference fields within these sets within the R script. So before I start writing R script, I will use the I.O. tab to rename the input pin to a user-friendly name, My Input, and I will add a new output pin called My Output. Data frames are automatically constructed for these pins, making them available within our R script. Before we implement our correlation function, I will demonstrate a simple example of loading the entire input data set into a new variable and then outputting all of the data as an output data set. First, I will type in the assignment statement which sets variable myFrame to the myInputDataFrame. Then, 
I will type in an assignment statement which sets the my output data set to this new my frame variable. Note that this is R script syntax and not the brain script used in the other LavaStorm nodes. I will now execute the node which sends the input data frame along with the R script to the R server where it is processed and returns a data set which populates the output pin. Having tested a simple operation, I will now implement the R correlation function to test for correlation among elements of my data sets. I will reuse this same node and thus make use of the same input and output pin names in associated data frames. The script which I have copied into this node is exactly the same as that which I would run in the R GUI if I were working with an identical data set. It uses the core function to calculate two correlation coefficients, one for the correlation between 2012 spend and yearly income, and another for the correlation between 2012 spend and 2011 spend. The dollar sign is used to reference a field within a data frame. These two figures are then packaged into a data frame and sent to the output data pin. Note that data which are not stored as data frames must be packaged in this way for node output. I will then re-execute the node and receive one line of output. The output data set contains these two coefficients with column names matching the variable names I used within the node. The very small coefficient value, close to zero, indicates that there is unlikely any correlation between 2012 spend and annual income, while the very high coefficient value, close to one, indicates a strong correlation between 2012 spend and 2011 spend. This concludes the R node tutorial. For other training materials, please visit our website at lavastorm.com.